But this, this is only the beginning. Fellow believers, let's take a look at how far this world, Satan's world, has fallen. Romans 1, verses 26 to 31. For this reason, God, God Almighty, gave them up, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, to vile, evil passions through Satan. For even their women, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, exchanged the natural use, i.e. procreation, sexual intercourse between a man and a woman, for what is against nature, i.e. sex between two women. Likewise also the men, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, leaving the natural use of the woman, i.e. procreation, sexual intercourse between a man and a woman, burning their lust for one another, i.e. sex between two men, men with men sexually, committing what is shameful in the eyes of God Almighty, and receiving in themselves, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, the penalty of their error, the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation, which was and is due. And even as they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, do not like to retain God in their knowledge, God, God Almighty, gave them over to a debased, corrupted mind through Satan, to do those things through Satan which are not fitting in the eyes of God Almighty, being filled with all unrighteousness through Satan, sexual morality, i.e. adultery, bestiality, incest, pedophilia, pornography, prostitution, transgenderism, etc., wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, are, through Satan, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, God Almighty, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful. Folks, you heard that correctly, inventors of evil things. 1 Corinthians 6, verses 9 and 10. Do you, fellow believers, not know that the unrighteous, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will not inherit the kingdom of God, God Almighty? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God, God Almighty. Galatians 5, verses 19-21. Now the works of the flesh through Satan are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, i.e. the creation of, the use of, or the misuse of alcohol, illegal, illicit drugs, and prescription drugs, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 through 4. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times, dangerous times will come. For men, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will be, through Satan, lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers of God Almighty and Jesus Christ, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, prideful, lovers of pleasure through Satan, rather than lovers of God through Jesus Christ. Jude 1 verse 7 As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, having given themselves over through Satan to sexual morality, i.e. adultery, incest, pedophilia, pornography, prostitution, transgenderism, etc., and gone after strange flesh, i.e. bestiality, sex between two women, sex between two men, etc., are set forth as an example by God Almighty, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation. Fellow believers, has this world outdistanced Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Noah? I truly believe it has. Satan has successfully deceived false teachers, false believers, and especially unbelievers into accepting such lies as acceptable sex between two men and acceptable sex between two women, acceptable sex between adults and children, i.e. pedophilia, acceptable sex between mankind and animals, i.e. bestiality. Now Satan has deceived them into accepting this lie, the acceptability to question one's true gender, i.e. are you male or female? In your own eyes. That's right, the ultimate confusion for an individual not to comprehend the most basic concept of what it truly means to be born biologically a male human being, or to be born biologically a female human being, and to remain as such as God Almighty intended. Yes, Satan has convinced them if they believe that God Almighty made a mistake, then it's okay to correct this mistake through one of mankind's inventions of evil things, transgender surgery.
meaning for a biologically born male human being to have his body surgically altered to appear female, including the removal of and the altering of his sexual organs, and for a biologically born female human being to have her body surgically altered to appear male, yet retaining her sexual reproductive organs, so as to match the appearance of gender in which the individual believes he or she truly is, i.e. transgenderism. Let's take a look at some of the identifiers used for these actions. Adulterers, blasphemers of God Almighty and Jesus Christ, boasters, brutal, contentions, covetous, disobedient to parents, despisers of good, dissensions, evil-mindedness, extortioners, fornicators, full of envy, haters of God, God Almighty, haughty, i.e. prideful, headstrong, heresies, homosexuals, idolaters, inventors of evil things, jealousies, Lewdness, lovers of themselves, outburst of wrath, proud, revilers, selfish ambitions, sexual immorality, sodomite, strife, uncleanness, undiscerning, unforgiving, unholy, unloving, unthankful, wickedness, and without self-control. In other words, folks, they truly are lovers of pleasure through Satan rather than lovers of God through Jesus Christ. But how did this happen, you ask? First Timothy 4 verses 1 and 2. Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, expressly says that in latter times some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will depart from the faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, giving heed, i.e. paying close attention, to deceiving spirits through Satan, and doctrines of demons through Satan, speaking lies and hypocrisy through Satan, having their own conscience seared with the hot iron by Satan. Yes, Satan truly uses deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Satan uses false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers to confuse, to misinform, to mislead, to outright deceive individuals into succumbing to these sinful natures. So much so that this world is forcing these sinful natures upon our own children without our consent. Jesus Christ's Warning to Fellow Believers John 15 verses 18 to 21 and 23 if the world, Satan's world, hates you, fellow believers, you know that it hated me, Jesus Christ, before it hated you. If you, fellow believers, were of the world, Satan's world, the world, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers would love its own. Yet because you, fellow believers, are not of the world, Satan's world, but I, Jesus Christ, chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you, fellow believers. Remember the word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that I, Jesus, said to you, A servant, fellow believers, is not greater than his master, Jesus Christ. If they persecuted me, Jesus, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will also persecute you, fellow believers. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will do to you, fellow believers, for my name's sake, Jesus Christ because they do not know him, God Almighty, who sent me, Jesus Christ. He, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, who hates me, Jesus Christ, hates my Father, God Almighty, also. Jesus Christ's Warning to False Teachers, False Believers, and Unbelievers, Matthew 18, verses 6 and 7. Whoever, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, causes one of these little ones who believes in me, Jesus, to sin. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world, Satan's world, because of offenses. For offenses must come, but woe to that man, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, by whom the offense comes. Folks, please remember, this is Satan's world, and it will not get any better, but it will get worse, much worse. Yes, true persecution is coming, but this... This is only the beginning. Fellow believers, we know Jesus Christ abides within us through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ walks with us. The Holy Spirit teaches us. And most importantly, God Almighty watches over us. Always remember the being caught up together is imminent. May our Lord Jesus Christ find you going about the Father's business as a good and faithful servant. Amen.